An ore sample is known to contain copper sulfate pentahydrate. Um, if a 10.000 gram sample of the ore loses 0 0.5728 grams of water when heated strongly, what is the maximum quantity of copper sulfate pentahydrate that can be in the sample? So this is very similar to the last problem we just did. So um, let's write down what we know. So it gives us copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate. So um, well, it gives us the formula, but we can pretend it didn't. So copper 2 sulfate. And then remember, pentahydrate is going to be penta is 5. And hydrate, of course, is water. Um, and it also tells us that they heat it strongly. So let's write that chemical equation. So we should be pretty good at these by now. And this goes away. Okay, so um, let's write the initial mass of the ore is 10 grams. And the, it gives us the mass of water. So the mass of water that it loses is 0 0.57. Two grams. And it's asking us, well, what's the maximum amount of copper two sulfate or copper two sulfate pentahydrate that you could have? So, first thing we're going to have to do is figure out the number of moles of water that we got. <coughs> so, Again, if you want to do these into a lot of steps, you can do that, or you can break them up into little steps. Copper 
two sulfate and the hydrate. Um, so that's the maximum amount. That's what we were looking for, right? Didn't say what's the percentage of the sample, right? That's it, that's the answer, right? So um, let's just put it to the right number of sig figs and then we're cool. Um, so uh, we started with four sig figs, so. Yeah, that's essentially the theoretical yield, the maximum amount that could be. So if you hear that maximum amount or theoretical yield, so that's a good question. It's the same thing. Any questions on that one? Make sense? No? Yeah, but 